Morning people. I've got a Dell um, M5010 here. Um, the Everything else is working apart from this button here. So let me use the external mouse and watch what happens when I click onto that. Nothing seems to be happening. Uh, the right click is working but the left click is not working. So first of all is that what I'm going to try and establish is if it's a software related issue or a hardware related issue. So let's go into the uh, mounts. So touchpad is enabled, touch buttons are enabled. Okay, and it's not sort of doing anything. Set that to default, set that to default. Am I getting any function? No. So my guess is are that uh, it's going to be the button, um, unless there is a problem with the logic board due to liquid damage. Uh, the keys were a little bit sticky on the top of the keyboard, um, but uh, let's sort of uh, not waste much time and crack on with this basically. So I'll have to strip it down and uh, take it from there, so you'll have to bear with me. Is that off? Yes, it's off. Let's strip this unit down as fast as possible. So I'm not wasting too much time. Okay. already come off okay that's gone what else are we do we have any more screws here he's a bit overheating so I'm glad that I'm stripping it down because I can then sort of uh, clear out the fan and everything else so that's that let's get a praying tool and a set of tweezers hopefully I'm not on your way of view Which maybe like this would be better so less disruption I just want to keep an eye out, make sure it's everything's in. But sometimes I do sort of come on the viewing in front of the camera, so It's not a liquid damage. Good thing is that the unit is still powering on. Nice and gently under the strip, disconnect the uh, ribbon for the power and the touch pad. Okay, there's a few screws on the palm rest. That's for the uh, strap for these buttons here. For okay, and then let's take these screws out. Mm, where are they now? Palm rest, okay. So we are quite happy with uh, anything else that's missing. No. Let's get the green tool again. Where is it gone? Sure that there's no screws here. Usually you do get some screws around this area. Um, it's a pity the camcorder I have, you know when I want to do something I can't pause it. If I pause it the video video stops recording, which is a bit of a daft, so I've got to look at the settings and just see if there is any changes that need to be made on this camcorder. Um, it's the camcorder made by 
Panasonic and it's a full 4K camcorder. Let me just see if I can if I can figure out what model it is here. No, I can't because it's not stupidly enough, it's not written on here, and I've got the box upstairs. So that's no help. Let me just sort of see if there's anything that's not fucking bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Absolute bollocks, right? Okay. Palm breast off. The touchpad actually is buttons are here. I'm gonna have a quick look through this to see if there is any damages on the on the board with in terms of liquid damage. If there's any corrosion or anything that I can actually see. Okay, so no, there's nothing I can, I can see here. So what I'll do is I'll have to put the battery back on, power it on, and see what voltage I'm getting on these uh, touchpad connectors. Okay, so I should have 3.3 volt on one of the rails. Let me get my multimeter. Where's my multimeter gone? Oh, right, okay, there it is. Right, but before doing that, I need to establish the ground on this pin. Can be asked taking the power switch off the uh, board, so just try and establish the ground. Because I have to jump it. Okay, I don't know if you're getting all this. That's the ground. The last pin on the right is ground, okay. So let's put this in, put the battery back in. Okay, and then I need to see where my 3.3 volt is. I think it's going to be the last one. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is, is the last two pin that needs to be jumped. So I'll get a, grab a pair of tweezers. Power it on. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let it boot up to the Windows operating system and then I'll measure the voltage across these pins. If the voltages are what they should be. Then, uh, funny on the schematics, um, it won't state what voltages are, should be on these pins. It won't even volt tell you what the pin out voltage is on the, on the power switch connector. So these these so some of these things has to be sort of learned from experience. You won't have a, a specific voltage on the PCI Express for the Wi-Fi card uh, slot, basically. Um, so it, sometimes it gets a bit ridiculous with the schematic. You would have thought that the schematic will point you out exact what what each pins are, which they do, but equally the voltage on those uh, lines. But it doesn't, unfortunately. Like the speaker, I think uh, it, it's 2.5. On the, on the speaker and I'll measure it for you just to give you an idea as long as I can find the speaker thingy yes which is it's here there so I'll do that for you um, so we know that the speaker is working uh, but first thing first is let me establish what voltage we get and I hope you're getting all this, this will be a, let me see if now nah, that'll be on the way so let's keep it like this okay so let's see what the voltage is and the uh, I need to get something a bit sharp because I know I'm going to short the shit out of this. Okay, so ground. Three point three volt on pin two. Three point three on pin three. 3.3 on pin 4. I've got nothing on. Pin 1. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to power it off. And pin 1 could be ground. Again, I'll have to pull up this schematic to try and sort of establish that. Um, let me see if I can. I do have about a couple of, about nearly several thousand uh, N five one one zero. Let me see if I can find the schematic. N five one one zero. 
of it absolutely let's download okay let's open that up put it in my big monitor it's a pity that I haven't got screen capture connected to the account card I'll try and sort of uh, so what we're looking for now let's look at uh, These are all, uh, I'm looking for a part number for the, uh, you know, absolute bollocks, absolute fucking bollocks, right here, that's what I say, absolute fucking bollocks, touchpad, let's, let's manually find this, so just bear with me guys, I know once I've found it I'll sort of uh, go through everything, but it's no good me sort of talking about it now, so it's touch. Okay, here we go, so I've found this. Let me put my glasses on because I'm in my 40s now and uh, eyes, if I can buy a new pair of eyes, I'd, I'd do that. And uh, I'd, I'd always keep away from laser eye surgery because that's too too dodgy. Um, okay, that's right, that's right, okay, super. Pin one is, um, I'm led to believe is, is uh, on uh, ground basically. So I'll, that's why I'm getting nothing. On that pin one, so let me get up. Let me get the cam cutter up here, and you can see it for yourself. Okay, so that's the schematic. Okay, getting a bit closer. Make sure that's a bit steady. The cam cutter. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so pin one's got nothing. The that's pin one. Pin two, three, and four have got 3.3 volts. Um, but pin one is actually attached to the ground pads here. Them two. Here, so that's why it's showing zero volts, which effectively means that uh, uh, the the uh, touchpad circuit is working, but the button is damaged. Now, when you look here, as I said to you before, um, and of course you can see it here that the the touchpad VDD, uh, the clock and the data, these are the two, and the and the pin one is ground. So, as I said, the the the, the uh, entire function is working on the circuit side of it in respect to that but uh, the, I believe that the button is damaged so fingers crossed that I have a replacement button in my stock uh, but in terms of the voltage can you sort of understand what I meant by before that there, there, is, there isn't it doesn't specify what voltage is going to be on that circuit any part of this diagram doesn't say that pin 1, 2 and 3 is 3.3 I can't see anything like that and I haven't come across with anything like that um, let's have a look. It's talking about the resistor here, but it's not sort of showing anything here. So, which is a bit of a pity that. But anyway, let's get back into repairing the de device. So, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to shut it down because I believe that the touchpad circuit is fine. It's the button that's a bit dodgy. So, let's shut this down, take the battery out, and uh, let's sort this out. Oh, sorry. The 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 speak. I was going to do the speaker thing, but I've shut it down now. I don't want to make this video too long, but it's it's usually 2.5 volts basically. Or should I do it for you? Oh, I'll do it for you then, guys. Uh, just so you know what the voltage is for the speaker out. Okay, let's. Okay, just bear with me. After a long weekend, this notification. Let's see what's going on. Okay. 
can eat but okay, here not dry ranger over <coughs> anyway okay so let's keep things short and simple let's let's measure the voltage across the uh, speaker rail and again it doesn't on the schematic it does not specify what the voltages are or it should be so let's sort of uh, let me see if I can get a closer view of what I'm doing and uh, make sure that the uh, fluke you can see the multimeter so let's let's measure the vol voltage across the speaker so it's 2.240 pin 1 pin 2 should be same pin 3 should also be same and pin 4 should also be same there you go so so these things these voltages are not sort of stated on the uh, uh, circuit diag diagram unfortunately so uh, it's just a bit of a bollocks but uh, what do you do right let's shut this down put this unit away um, I must take the battery out and I will be servicing this basically because uh, I feel that uh, it's due one um, and since I've taken it apart what servicing means is is clearing the fan out make sure that it's not blocked clear the fan uh, and the fins and the cotton and, and refresh the thermal paste so it's as simple as that it's, it's not a rocket science it's it's open, might as well just do it. So let's take the battery out, put the unit back. And I'm struggling with space. Okay, so it was this one that wasn't functioning. Okay, so that side, I don't want to get confused. Let's take this flex off. And let me grab myself a nice screwdriver. Okay, the buttons here, which makes it a little bit more tricky, you bloody rascals. So it's this one that is, oh, it's the, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, now I'm getting a bit confused. Okay, so it's this one that is coming off then, on the left. Now this, is, this gets a bit tricky, really tricky because I don't think I can replace the button. I think that it's a carbon contact button. And if it is, like similar to the keyboard, then hell no, no, that's not a repair. That that means I've got to find a uh, thingy. So I'm going to pray it from the bottom just so that I can release it from the thingy. This is very, very awkward to do because I'm used to it. I know what I'm looking for. Where to, where to thingy, but uh, to a certain degree. you as soon as I've taken this off I'll tell you if I can do it or not because yes it is a carbon contact button and what that effectively means is definitely a no repair because it's not a button it's not a physical button it's, it's a carbon contact so I'd, if anything, I'd be wasting my time and your time. So it's a no repair, but that's how you sort of get to the bottom of uh, troubleshooting a touchpad issue. Um, if the buttons are not working, um, obviously look at the rail, look at the schematic, see what's going on. Um, and uh, but it's a bit of a disappointment that I've, uh, I can't I can't sort of repair this because it's not going to happen. Um, it is a carbon contact. Uh, Button, which is a bit of a sad but uh, that's just the way things are anyway have a great day um, and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next video thank you bye for now take care